Suppose we're given a string and we want to count the number of times each character in that string occurs. So as an example, let's say we have the string ethernet. Well, as output, we want to print out the number of times that we see each character. So with E, we see it three times. We see it here, here, and here. And then with T, we see it two times. So we see it right after the first E and then at the very end. And then with H, R, and N, we see them each once. So how can we go about coding this algorithm in Python? Well, this requires a simple linear search. And in our linear search, every time we see a new character, we're going to check to see if it's in a dictionary of stored characters. So that's the other thing. We're going to maintain a dictionary of characters. And every time we see a new character in our dictionary, if the character is already there, we're going to increment its associated value by one. But if it's not there, we're going to set the associated value for that character equal to one. So let's model that out with this example. So suppose I didn't have any of these elements in my output and we just started our dictionary from scratch. So we're on the first character and that's an E. Well, E is not in our dictionary. So we create a new key value pair and we set that equal to one. Now the next character is a T. Again, we don't have a T. So we're going to set that equal to one as well in our dictionary. So T is one. And then again, we don't have an H. So we set H is one. And now we're on another E. Well, this time we do already have an E. So we can just increment that by one. So this will become two E's. And then we go to R. So we don't have an R. So we make a new key value pair. R is one. And then we go to N. And we don't have an N. So we say N is a new key value pair of one. And then we move to our third E. So we already have E. So we just increment this value by one. So that's three. And finally, we end with the character T. And we have this character already. So we just increment its value by one. And that makes it two. So it's a very simple algorithm. Again, all it requires is a dictionary to store the counts of the characters, as well as a linear search to actually process all the characters. Let's go ahead and code this out. So let's begin by just defining our function. So we'll move this stuff down. So we'll call our function count cars, def count cars. And we'll take one string as our parameter, so string. And this will be the string that we're checking the occurrences of each character. Now let's create our cars dictionary. So that will store the count of each character. So we'll say cars is equal to an empty dictionary. And now we have to do our linear search. So we will say for car in string. And every time we see a new car, we need to check if that car is if that character is already in the cars dictionary. So if car in cars, if that's the case, then we just need to increment its value by one, because now we just have one more of that character. So we say cars at car is going to be plus equals one. Now, if we don't have this element, that means we have to actually add the key value pair. So else we need to say that cars car is just equal to one because now we actually have one occurrence of that character. And that's all we have to do here. So to just end this, we'll just return cars. And now we can start processing our test cases. So let's say that I had the string is equal to ethernet and I wanted to count the characters of this. So let's say cars is equal to count cars of string. And now we want to just print out the character as well as the occurrences for each key value pair. So we'll say for car and count in count cars ethernet. And then we have to say dot items because we want key value pairs here. And then for each of these, we'll just print an F string that contains the templates of car and then its associated count. And that's all we have to do here. Let's go ahead and test this code. So we see that we get three, two, one, 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 just like we were expecting with this output here. So that's it for this video. And I hope this was helpful.